Hello, welcome to vsdevelopers.io. In continuation to our object oriented analysis and design series, today we are going to look into encapsulation interview questions. We have covered various principles and concepts of object oriented analysis in the last few episodes. This week we will focus on interview questions around encapsulation and few other principles that we have already covered. What is programming by contract? Let us understand this question in general first before we get into the object orientation and code example. We do have contracts between people, between companies and thereby they abide by the contract, they understand the contract and execute the project for a successful result. Likewise, when you go to a supermarket, so the supermarket has many contracts that are hidden or that are not seen very clearly outside that is you go into a supermarket and there is an aisle designated for groceries there is an aisle designated for vegetables so what do you have so by looking at the aisle and then by looking at the title you understand that there is a uh, section related to vegetables or related to groceries so that's one contract in, in very simple terms and then you do have a dedicated uh, bill counter where you go to a particular place and you stand in a line in a queue and then give your items that you want to purchase to the cashier so that he or she scans the items and gives you the bill so who told you that it has to be that way right? so it is a contract that is understood by both the parties likewise what is it in for you know object orientation what is in it for programmers so when you are providing a service in the previous example the supermarket is providing the service the grocery store is providing a service and as a consumer you are consuming the service so there is a contract there is an agreement that okay uh, my cash counter is here and my vegetable aisle is here so these are hidden contracts now likewise let's say you are developing a library a package now what is the contract right so how do the consumers of your library how do the consumers of your package know that it has to be used in a certain way that is programming by contract so you always abide by the contract when you are developing when you are designing therefore consumers do not have the confusion consumers easy to use your application your library in again a supermarket example it is typically understood that the cash counter is at the exit of your supermarket isn't it so it is a nomenclature for a cash counter which is a hidden standard so likewise what are the programming contracts for object orientation all right so let us get in and understand take an example of your uh, a function name Right. Again, so a function name is fun. If you just give this as your signature, so it is not clear. It is not clear. And so what is the written type? You are missing on it. What are the arguments? You are missing on it. So the best practice is always say void if you don't want to return anything and the function name right? and parameters. If you don't have any parameters, you can still mention void. So this is a signature, right? So this is a signature. Is this the contract? No, not yet. Now, when you give this in a header file, right? So in a .h file, right? So my fun .h. In this, you have so this is cancelled. You have this function declared. Now, someone taking your library will be given your header files. By looking at your header file, he can easily understand and she can code and know how to use the fun method. The written type is void, okay, no arguments. So, but what is there inside? It is not clear. So, the uh, standards to be practiced, like have a relevant name and add appropriate comments in the header file. So, that is how you make it good contract with your uh, header files. See, either header files is one example or a UML is another example. How do you make your consumers understand your library easily you give a uml diagram 
or and you give a meaningful header file with relevant function names of what it does and clear depiction and clear details about what each argument does and what it returns well so that is what we mean programming by contract so you have clear specifications given to it all right so that is the question number 1 what is programming by contract why should you use specification or header files instead of implementation if you directly give the implementation to the user to the consumer the programmer will get confused it is so much of detail for him to use your library what you have produced so therefore you only give the header file or uml diagrams right so you must give only the header file and the specification in terms of uml diagrams for a better clarity and for its completeness for the reasons that are mentioned here first reason is you cannot give him the implementation because that violates your privacy of your application or confidentiality or your application and then no developer has any time to look into your implementation before he or she uses it the header files and specification should be good enough which saves his time and which are in a complete shape with the uh, comments and proper written types and proper proper arguments well so if you have multiple such methods right so we do have typically we do have multiple packages multiple libraries that are used in every day uh, when i want to write my own application which are too many so i wouldn't want to go into details or implementation of each and every one therefore it gives me the flexibility when you just give me specifications to move around whether library a is suitable for me or library b is suitable for me can be decided by looking at the synopsis and description and specification of your library well so these are the reasons it saves your time it's in complete in its nature and it's flexible and it is fixable as well right and then extensibility understandability and scalability these are the reasons why should you give your specification and header files over an implementation take an example of this header file what is it given in this header file so there is a class called stack right so this stack class is given to you by the provider now when this provider offers you this class what do you understand from it it doesn't give you implementation right so there is a class called stack so this is typically used for your stack operations and there are public method to initialize it and push peek pop and clean up well so these are easily understood now with this i can go ahead and implement this stack in my application so there are not enough comments though here so we should probably give the comments and this data types tell us that it is a generic data type void star so like this you give an a header file as a contract for the consumers example so here this header file is stack of strings dot h now this class of stack stack of strings is is not a good example of how do we write a header file right so because it it's not only has the declaration but also has the definition header files are not supposed to have this so this is an example of how not to have your header files declared so sometimes we do that if the definition is not too large or if definition is not confidential so we go ahead and uh, give this so here you not only have the declaration but also you have the definition now this stack has another header file which we have seen program by contract.h now let us see how the consumer makes use of your header files and your implementation so this is an example of your program by contract app which is an example of how users make use of your libraries now this application uses stack of strings dot h right now this stack of strings dot h internally used your header file called proc by contract dot h well the program by contract dot h was an ideal example of how your specifications to be given out now i've started using it if you take a look at it right my, there is a stack of strings with the example of the header file that i have declared or text lines and then if you see text lines dot push so in other words what you have your stack of strings header file has 
stack that is being declared and then you are pushing a string into it see how easily i can make use of the uh, declaration that is been given to me likewise you have pop right and you can also check for clear and initialization all that can be easily consumed without looking into the definition of your program so if i go to stack of strings you have stack of strings which include program uh, by contract dot h which in turn uh, you know is a declaration of your stack so your stack has initialized push peak pop methods and along with a link maintained in here now stack of strings makes use of it what as a stack of stack so the stack of strings declares an object of stack class okay we will talk about it in a moment there is another interview question based on this and now i go to my program contract which actually defines my uh, stack uh, class okay so you have implemented the app without actually looking into the code of it so this is the implementation of uh, pub uh, the stack which uh, the producer or the uh, library provider does not reveal it to you now you go ahead and write this right so there is a input stream simple.txt you are opening the file and then you are declaring a line of type string and then you directly used uh, you know declared another object of text lines now you get something from the file a line from the file and then push it to the uh, stack so your text line and the push will take you to the definition if you go to the definition so it pushes you into uh, the stack dot push see there is another layer right this push pushes you into stack dot push now uh, so you come here and another string pointer and then read it and print it so when you run what happens right? i have already compiled it uh, so how did i compile it if you take a look at it so this is uh, how i compiled it so my c language and then uh, both the cpps right there is no uh, dynamic library i have not generated it so program by contract dot cpp program contract app dot cpp output it to program by contract so when i do this sorry there is ignore the warning and then you run the function uh, run the application so the file has um, this text line 1 2 3 so when you run the program you got line 3 to 1 when you open the file you have line 1 2 3 so that's how the stack works right so last in first out so therefore you got it printed so the essence here need to be understood is how you expose your header files and how uh, you give away your specification so that the consumers understand uh, your library without much difficulty that it reduces their speed of uh, you know time they spent on development and it increases the uh, flexibility completeness all right so that completes uh, two interview questions with an example